What do you need to look for when seeking out a nail school or beauty school, cosmetology school, any of those schools? We're gonna get into the details right now on this talk. Okay. Um, you know what's at, sad? <laughs> what What is sad? For you. I have coffee and you don't. I drank my coffee. So I, it's not sad at all. Mm. That means I have more caffeine in my system mm. than mm-hmm. you do. So I'm actually sad for you. I'm in it for the long haul. I'm not. You're just going to Oh yeah. hit this peak and then drop. No, 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 no. I just get another coffee. There's a thing called clock machine. It's downstairs. Mm. It's Go, not, refill. It's not my dog. <laughs> it's not McDonald's. It's the best. Nobody ever, ever, Hash ever said that. Tag not sponsored. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. A um, lot of people looking at nail school to get licensed here in the United States. This doesn't apply around the world, obviously. You're going to yeah. look for probably a manufacturer that's going to give out a certificate. But um, this could probably apply worldwide if you're looking for some type of cert- certification. We're talking about um, going to beauty school, going to nail school specifically, but it applies to like hair, skin, skin maybe, every, kind yeah, of everything, Yeah, pretty much right? everything, yeah. So what to look for. I'm very curious as to what you're going to say, Tracy. Um, let's start out with with this. I mean, this is kind of a tough, I mean, you're kind of limited, right? You're limited to your location. Yeah. So... It's what's around you, right? Mm, yes and no. So when I went to school, um, there was three beauty schools to pick from. Okay. But it's not like a restaurant where it's like, I have 10, 15 choices. No, no. But, th- th- you know, sp- like LA area. There, there's LA does a, f- a lot. There's, there's a few. So if you're in a, a small town and there's one, guess where you're going? <laughs> this does not apply to you. <laughs> I traveled an hour away, but I'll tell you why. Okay. Okay, so let's say three, four, maybe on average is going to be the choice. What should somebody look for, you know, when when picking a beauty school? If you have a choice of three, that's actually not bad. Um, what are you looking for? Cheapest. That's um, it. Okay, we're done. No, it's- Price, <laughs> move on. <laughs> there are some schools out there that, um, and I no offense to these ones or teachers that, that actually – are teaching how to make it in the real world. Most schools, first, when it comes to nails, teach you with an odorless. Okay. You're never going to use that probably when you get out. of 99.9% of the people are not going to use that when they get out. Okay. And they teach you how to do sanitation and disinfection, which is huge. Of That's course. what you're going... That. If you think you're going to school to learn nails, you're not. Even hair, you're not. It's just... This is reality for most schools. schools. Right. The, if you're a school that goes above and beyond, bless you, because that's huge. That's that uh, that's amazing. Go that to that do. school. Yeah, go to that school. If you can find that school where people are coming out and saying, wow, I actually was taught my trade, go to that school. Spend the money. My daughter-in-law, for instance, okay. she went to a chain school. Uh, it was $20,000. 20 grand. Yeah, for hair school. Wait, wait, okay, okay, look, stop. <laughs> Twenty grand. Twenty grand. Let Let's start here. I'm sorry. Just I I need before continue with this story. Okay. But <laughs> what is what are the ranges in pricing? Because that that you just like it's like you just slap me in the face. Can I? It, <laughs> See my eyes light up. Like I saw that. I saw the greed. If, you, if you're your listening eyes. to this, my eyes just really got just. I'm excited. Yeah, yes. <laughs> So, like, what are the ranges in? That's well, insane. If you think twenty thousand for the school that she went to, and my son, I put him through beauty school. He's actually a cosmetologist. Yeah, I paid six hundred dollars for his. Same town. Same, no, no joke. Now I was able to get him through ROP. Now, had he paid full price, I think full price not going through his school was like thirty five hundred. Okay, that's still a massive difference. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. For the first time so I'm speechless. What, yeah. So for them, what she did when she was looking, she didn't go to the school I sent him to because she, this school made all these promises 
tuition was way more, yeah. I must, I'm going to learn something. Of course. No, no, no. When, no, what when, she learned is she's still paying the debt is what she learned. Yeah. That it, like that you still have to pay that after you get out of school, whether you learn or not. So. That's, that's insane. That is a huge amount to carry yeah. coming out of beauty school. If you're carrying a debt of 20K. Yep. Plus interest, because I mean, unless you've got somebody that's going to cover that for you, you're going to have to take a loan, a school loan. You're going to have to pay that debt back, and yeah. then getting out and trying to start your business with that debt looming is is insane. I mean, that that's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. <laughs> it, it's in, it, it's insane. And so for me, what I did, fortunately, I had people around me in the industry that I knew, and they're like find the cheapest yeah and that's why i drove an hour away every day because it, it was it was significant is it the same school that you sent your son to no i did because i was able to put him through rop and oh, okay, do a school okay, in okay. reading i see that's so why you got a you got a discount yeah okay so okay so like pricing obviously that's a mass consideration mm -hmm. because in most schools you're not going to actually learn how to do nails i mean we've talked about this a lot like yeah. sanitation disinfection are the biggest things you use odorless that's not going to work in the salon we know this right. right it's just not a it's not a product that's for the salon you, no. you need a traditional um like monomer if you want to go odorless you should probably go gel like that's right. usually our recommendation. Which is something they don't teach you in school. Which they don't teach you. They in, don't teach you electric file. Correct. In most schools, right. They don't have to teach you a fill. That's not required. Yeah, that's insane. That's the majority of your business yeah. eventually. Yeah. So, I mean, this is these are things that you need to know to be successful. So, if you're not going to learn what you need to know, for me, I suggest you pick off a pricing and then take, mm. take that money and take some continued education from people that are going to teach teach you the business right so uh get your life i mean the only the only i'm trying to look think of all situations mm -hmm. right uh, if, if there's a school and it's insanely cheap and then i walk in there and i'm like whoa this is like sketchy oh or, yeah i mean obviously you don't want to a gross place or anything like right, but most right. of them have to meet standards i mean right you got state boards so most of them are not going to be that way um they may be older you know, you have some that you go in that it's state of the art and it's like brand new furniture throughout, but, or you go in and they still have the same furniture from 1980s, but it's clean for me. That's again, fine. if I'm not, if I'm not going to learn, um, anything different, I'm going to pick the 1980s place that's clean and call it a day. Yeah. Uh, get what you need so that you can take the test, get licensed mm -hmm. I like the continuing education at the same time. Most yeah. places, like us, for example, right? If you're in school, you can take all of our education, right? Traditionally, before pre-COVID, we had our OWC. Yeah. Um, you could take that uh, while you're in school. Yeah. And learn how to do nails, how to build a clientele, you know, I mean, yeah. all the fundamentals, everything. Or plan it, like, go. Oh, I'm going to go to school, I'm going to learn all this stuff. This is what I would do personally, because a lot of schools won't give you a credit you time for uh, going to OWC. Some do, look into it. So if you can actually take the OWC while you're in school and it's going to count towards your time, brilliant. If not, plan it for right after get get out of school and go straight to the OWC yeah. just boom 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 and yeah. you're gonna be way ahead of way most, ahead yeah you know it's it's when I, I can see someone that is in the process of looking for a school right you get marketed to and you're gonna go maybe visit some places and like you said they might have state-of-the-art like with this equipment and it's like oh, beautiful yeah. and then you know but it's twenty thousand dollars versus a place that's like you know two three k down the street that maybe has like older setup but it's i for somebody like me that would have been honestly i'd be like drawn to that and attracted to it like you're like oh i'm gonna learn all this stuff but that like this is what i love like the bottom line is most we're not saying every place no most no. places you're not gonna learn how to do nails right so ask around too ask people that have been to the schools yeah that that's a huge get an on answer honest answer from them like do you feel like you were equipped once you walked out to go straight into doing whatever it is you're doing if they say no then it's it's not worth it yeah 
Yeah, but exactly. I, yeah, of course you're going to be attracted to all the fancy stuff. And that's always, I mean, obviously now with the internet, reviews are huge, yeah. right? But but talk to people in your area that have, you know, professionals, whether their hair scan doesn't matter, right. right? If they've gone to the school, that's a good way to do some hardcore research, find out. And if they're like, you know, look, I spent 12, 15 grand here and I'm still paying it off. Go to this, go to this school, get your license, get out and then yeah. start getting your real education in the real world. You know, yeah. like, which you'll find is going to be the advice of most people that have been to beauty school. Yeah. Everyone's, I mean, we've ha- actually had some teachers from beauty schools come to the OWC, come to OWC and that's, right. man, I applaud them because that's, that's massive, but it's just not the norm. Yeah. It's, I mean, we, we've talked about this also. There's got to be a change at some point. Like uh, yeah. you need per state board, most state board, you, ha- you need sanitation disinfection. It's, it's the most important thing. Uh, very, right? very, very important. Right. I mean, like it's the fundamental basic of a salon. It's like, it's got to be clean. You got to know how to sanitize and disinfect period. End of story. Right? right. That has to be there. But then there's this whole thing of like doing the services yeah. that you need. Learning your trade. It's like a doctor yeah. going to medical school and just learning how to clean. <laughs> You're Keep like, your no. office clean. Yeah, eventually, you 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 need to do some surgery, and <laughs> I hope you practice. So, and of course, that needs to be clean. Yeah, but you need to know how to do the surgery. <laughs> you need to know how to also, do it, not yeah. just via YouTube. <laughs> right. Well, that that's the thing. I mean, you know, med school's four years plus res. Obviously, there's all this time. What what are the averages in like uh, going to nail school? Like, how many hours are we talking about on average? California's ten weeks. Okay. God, that's. I mean, that it's is nothing. fast. Yeah. Yeah, it's very it's like fast. Two and a half months. So and uh, hair, ten months. Oh, hair is ten months. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I, that's what it was. I I don't think it's changed. So, go to nail school ten weeks California. Let's use that as the example. Continuing education, invest your money there. Yep. This is the strategy we're recommending, yep. right? Like absolutely. Try to find a place. Obviously, you want it to be clean, nice, decent. But uh, look at the pricing. Don't. You don't need to get lured in by something that's going to cost you 20K. Spend the money invested in continuing education. Um, places that are offering education. Obviously, ROWC is not open yet, but we are doing Zoom classes now. You know, yeah, with, that's cool. Yeah, that Greg's going to be doing. And a lot of them are actually sold out. And how but, amazing is that for, you know, there's a lot of people that can't break away, especially right now. Right. That, you know, they, they can't find someone to take care of their kids for a week or whatever. So this is a huge opportunity. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. Um, Those are the recommendations that we're giving you. Let us know in the comments below uh, your thoughts on this. What did you do? Did you go to a place that charged a lot? Are you still in debt? Share your experiences so that other people can learn. Thank you, Tracy, very much. Thank you guys for joining us today. And we'll see you next time on BizTalk.